On guard. Engage. Here we go. We're streaming. What's up, person? Hello, person. It's your old favorite game developer, Wizard Foo, making the game Wraithbinder. And today we're working on fonts again. Um, last week we were kind of playing around with fonts and like looking at some different crispier, nicer, higher resolution fonts. And um, I'm still probably gonna use one of these, but I what, I'm, what I wanna do is take the games. This font comes from Songbringer, so there's some uh, nostalgia value here. And I wanna make this higher res so that it, it works even up to like 8K displays it's like super crisp so what we're going to be doing is taking like these voxel like these pixels and making them so they look you know a little like totally smooth at highest resolution possible right so that's what we're going to be doing today and let's get right into it so this morning what i did is i took this font here and this used to be twice as tall so if you zoomed out this would be like like twice this that twice the area but it was really not it was it was using a lot of blank space on the bottom and there were like three rows of letters that needed to be moved around so i basically made it more efficient so this whole font fits into a 512 by 512 right now and this font is about as big as it needs to be on i'm not exactly quite sure there i really needed to dive into that a little bit more but today i'm going to kind of ignore all the mathematics and just focus on the art today so what we're going to be doing is just taking this font and doubling its resolution and if we have time we'll be doubling it again so the doubling this should get us to 4k and doubling it again should get us to 8k let's let's see if that works out as i'm as i'm imagining but either way it'll be beneficial to have this doubled so let's go to cd arts art fonts and we're going to be copying large dot font to large two dot font and then we're going to be scaling it up so we want i got this little font tool we worked on that last week so we're going to be scaling large two by scale two and then we need to copy large dot psd to large two dot ps to be all okay so now we can go and open up large two and start start working on some letters go on these uppercase letters first because then we can see them on the main menu all right let's dive in gonna be pixeling a lot here today oh man i wish i had my wish i had my art pen i don't know where that thing is right now i'm just gonna have to use the mouse oh wait first we need to double the resolution of this image Duh. i got a little handy dandy action for that in photoshop that doubles the resolution of stuff and oh also we need to make sure that all of these drop shadows are now now doubled in their size so let's turn off these two these horizontal shadows we're going to be making sure that the let's find a, a letter that has first thing we need to do is is use a letter that has like a single pixel i think these s's will do oh yeah why don't we just use like the regular s big s right. so we need to make sure that we have yeah right now we have the we have some good drop shadows we need to do four of them i think because if we were to just do one of them oh we need to we need to do one more thing here yeah see there that's revealing our problem this little shadow needs needs to connect to the pixel right there so that's that's an issue so that would be solved by that but we also need we need another drop shadow that is three pixels high and another drop shadow that's four pixels high there now it's all connected looks good and oh the we also need two sh two shadows on the bottom so duplicate that one make that two pixels on the bottom okay so that's comparable to our old other font our smaller font now we're gonna make all our horizontal stuff also two pixels but this one thankfully we only have to do once all right great so there now we have a nice thick shadow so this helps the readability of the font a lot in the game when you put this on say like a lighter background it's gonna look a lot better play around with this s first I'm loving this s really attracted to working on this s right now all right and so we're gonna go to the characters layer and wow this is pretty easy this whole like subtractive mode of just like deleting a pixel here and there is working really well i'm liking this here you go there that was easy okay well the letter t looks perfect i love it it's just how it should be okay we had to add a pixel there to make that one look smooth probably gonna have to add pixels here too i like it okay keep on with this strategy it's nice and clean with two pixels per zag Per, and per zig look how clean that is looking wow wow what a what a v what a v i could just look at that all day oh okay we found a problem with our horizontal shadows we need these to be one and two better sometimes additive sometimes subtractive seems to work here hey space my name hey it's going really well today how about you i'm trying to decide if i want this little extra zigzag here on this w let's see what it looks like without it it does look cleaner okay we did our w through s through w let's see this r get back on track all right 
All right, what are you getting back on track with? Today is the first day of school for people, kids here in Portland. So people are getting back on track here too. Oh, Five sweet. I just leveled up here. I realized I can hold down the shift but shift keyboard key and do a line even with this, even with deleting things. I deleted a line as well as added. Actually, this might look better with adding a line. There you go. Do we need a case? Okay, so we add a line here and there. Okay, good. Loving it. Ooh, this L. Oh, man. This L is exquisite. What an exquisite L. Okay, let's get to the next letter here. Eight nine colon. Whoa, where's the A? How many? What the? Where's our A? Did I already do the A? No. Oh, it's whoa. Way off there. Oh, with game dev, I ended up two weeks behind schedule a few months back. You're working on your, you're catching up now. Right on. What's what's your? What are the things you're working on for those two weeks? Like, what's your? What do you need to catch up on for these two weeks? Two minutes remain. Laid out a to-do list. Mm-hmm. Update for the space game. Oh, an animation tool. Oh yeah. I hear you. Tools can take a while to make. It's nice though when you have the tool done and you're like oh my god i'm so glad i made that like when it's really saving you time and doing the thing it needs to do there's a tool i need to write well a tool i need to upgrade for multiplayer where it detects desyncs i got a really good sort of desync detector work working but I, there's a there's the next level i can take it to and that's gonna take some time but it's one of those things that'll be like oh my god i'm so glad i did that it's gonna be worth it Ooh, i realized i could just get this another navigator open here oh that's right way way zoomed out oh hey Wish I could zoom this thing in my own independent amounts. Is that possible? Holy crap, is it? Panel options, view, view box colors, light red. That's all I can change. Does the section, I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't think this navigator thing scales. I wish it did, that would be really neat. Keep on having to zoom this, this one in and out. Can I, wait, can I open another view of this same image? I can, maybe, I don't know. If there's any Photoshop experts watching this stream, help a developer out. Suggest how I can have this same image open twice, different views, so different scaling. That would be really cool. I wouldn't have to zoom in and out all the time so much. Wait, oh, wait, wait, I could just do this. Oh, that kind of works. Oh, okay, this is working. Yeah, there we go. Oh, tweet. That's what I wanted. How come that G looks funky though? Be a little, little bigger. Oh yeah, that's what you meant? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sweet. You're, I'm glad you were thinking that. that. Paint.net. Oh, paint.net. Yeah, it doesn't have that. Dang. It's kind of a, it's a wish. I wish it paint not that have that too. Oh, this actually helps. See what things are a little too big in the zoomed out version. Okay. All right. A through Z is done now. Let's um, see what this looks like in the game. Systems, CPP, register, fonts. We're going to be using large two dot fonts and we're going to be scaling that by quarter instead of a half. And that should work fine. All right, so we're gonna load the, to the main menu. Yeah, I do already have that. Yeah, uh, so my publisher helps me out with that part with translations. Uh, um, I've gotten dang. That's a, that's one of those things though. You get so many offers from people. What what are you looking into? Like a certain company? Do they do multiple languages? How are you gonna be approaching that? It's not with the yeah, character and don't skip menu. So you're trying to find someone, but you're looking into it. Okay. So obviously, you know, you don't want, there are companies, this is what I've heard, right? So when I was looking into it before, before I published and all that, you want to avoid anyone that's going to just Google translate. You know what I mean? Like someone, if someone takes your text and literally just throws it into Google translate and then sells you that back to you, that's a bad person to be working with, right? I'm not sure how you check that or how you find out that someone's going to be doing that but that's a thing. And then I would imagine it's it's handiest to work with a company that can localize for multiple languages at once. Like maybe they they might actually, you know, work with other companies as well. Like they, but it's, it'd be nice to just work with one person and be like, all right, hey, I need you to translate this into 10 different languages and I need to make sure it's all quality. I need to be, you know, you need to verify your results. Like, I don't know, that's kind of, would approach it okay we we're still using oh oh i know it's wrong i'm like why why are we having this issue with let's take a screenshot though actually this is kind of fun this is a fun fun bug of the day it's taking so long cool fun bug of the day picture screenshot taken okay so the problem with that is that i forgot to use the new ping file for that font so we created this font file from scratch and then we scaled it up using my tool. We forgot to go to this large two dot pane. That should be significantly more bug free. <laughs> okay, let's take a little screenshot. Let's compare this to what we had before. So let's see, got this document in Photoshop where I'm 
Got these examples and we're gonna add this to the examples. Look how, look how organized this desktop is, it's beautiful. Okay, copy, close, paste, original, large two, large two, should be, whoa. Oh, forgot to, forgot to actually export this file here. Just remember to do that. There, export it, that should help. Okay, now that we exported that ping file, we can run it again. We should see it copying the ping file to the fonts directory when I build. There we go, it says large two, not ping. Good. Copied that file over. Now it should look crispier and better. Oh, I can tell it does look better. A few of these, a few of these letters look a little funky though when you put it in the game. Like the A. The A character looks kind of funny. Yeah, it's looking better, right? Better than it was. And we got one more level of detail to go for. Maybe two more. We got a couple, maybe a couple more levels of detail. It'll look even better. Uh, yeah. You can clearly see that it's getting better. Here's the old pixelated version, and here is the newer version. Ah, uh, okay. One thing we really got to keep in keep in mind with this font, I'm I'm noticing noticing this kind of looks weird. There's a certain width to like the letter I. It has a certain width in pixels, and then that should be similar with all vertical strokes, right? So like this H right here should also be a similar. It should be the exact same width, and then it goes also for all the horizontal strokes like the middle of this h that should be the same height as the is the s's middle shape there so i think what we're seeing like for example this w these vertical strokes aren't very wide and then the i is a little wider than the h so that's what we want to do well, i'm gonna i'm gonna give you another pass and make this look better also the a the a letter looks just really weird and then the s also kind of like the s should be either going for curviness or it should be going for this 45 degree thing. I'm leaning towards keeping it on the 45 degree thing, but then we've got sort of like this curvy part of this S right here is not doing that. We want to make that more, either more 45 degree-ish or more, more curvy. And then also that needs to abide by the same concept of the vertical strokes should be the same width for every letter. Okay, that's, I think that will make these fonts look better. Let's do that. Ready, go. Okay, we're gonna start with letter A. Actually, let's start with the, the I, getting the, these vertical strokes dialed in. Like the F looks pretty good. What's this? Six pixels wide. And the F height is four pixels high so let's make sure that's four good okay so now we can make sure that all of the vertical strokes are six so there there's one that should be six pixels that should be six there we go and this should be six there and this should be four good that's four that that's a width of four so we want this to be more like that width of six yeah similarly we want to do something we want this to be six pixels so can we do that better and then that's oh this is kind of weird that should be four pixels okay that's good enough for this a for now I could i could mess with this all night well there we go i could mess with that all night <laughs> let's move on there okay let's make sure this width is six height is four good this is a nice letter yay four oop that's not four it's not six. Oh, probably is okay that that wasn't six but maybe let's see this might, this might look better oh yeah sometimes it's okay i think yeah so right okay here's the here's the new rule <laughs> the the new rule is that the first vertical stroke should be six pixels. The next one can be four, six and four, six and four. And then all of the vertical ones are four. So that means that this A, okay, I kind of messed this whole A up. Dang it. Hey, what's up, Alexander? How you doing, Alex? What's going on, my man? How art thou? Should I just undo all, let's just undo. Okay, going backwards in time to where this A was just as it was before. Oh man, let's redo this whole. You're an exhausted pile of soup. Uh, what? Not only are you a pile of soup, but you're an exhausted pile of soup. That is remarkable. Yeah, custom font for Wraith Binder. So here's kind of like the goal, right? So this is what it's looked like before. And you can see if I zoom in, like it's pretty pixely. And I want to make it sharp and nice and crisp because there's already a pixel version. If you want to go to the settings, you can change your whole UI to be pixel. So the default should be crisp and nice and like really, really great. So then I've also got some other fonts I might use. Like I've been playing around with this Lovello. That might be a nice one to use instead for some things. We'll see. All right. So back to large two and A. All right. Okay. So new rule. The vertical strokes can be vertical strokes can be six and then four. So this one's five. Heck. Okay. There's six. And then this next one can be 
64. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, man. So why why are you an exhausted pile of soup? You, I bet you've been streaming for a while. That's my guess. Guess is you've been streaming for seven hours straight, five hours straight. Even any dude, anything above two hours is a long time to stream. I think you're like a hero, man. Heroes of streaming. Okay, is this A looking any less weird? Kind of, no, kind of less weird. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. This A needs work. Okay, so the B, four pixels on the second stroke. Yeah, we already checked these. Okay, the B's good, the B's fine. B is just fine, man, totally fine. Let it go. Okay, then the height four for this little section. Mega busy? Oh, dude, friends from Costa Country? Oh, chore day, huh? Oh yeah, dude, I, oh, I hear you, man. You get you get ambitious on chore day? I sure do. Chore day is like, holy crap, let me see how much I can get done today. Yeah, dude, yes, get all the badge. Hero of streaming. That C is looking, oh, I'm loving it. Loving it, uh, it's so much better. Bitches chore day, I hear you, man. What was, do you ever get any of your chore, any of the things done on your list that you were, like, do you ever get to the end of your day and like say, wow, look at that. I got all the things done that I put on my list today. Has that ever happened? Cause it never happens for me. All the time? What? Good for you, man. How do you do that? How does that even work? Like, do you have some superpower? What's the secret? Four, four, six, 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 four, four, six. Maybe it's cause you don't usually go with the pan oh a plan so the one time you do you're committed oh huh oh so you usually don't have a plan but today you did have a plan so you were committed to making that plan work uh, uh okay okay i like it friends from all the way across the country man that's some that's some dedicated friends you got okay so this g this g is a little bit tricky we've got a four we've got a four other fours but then a six over here kind of like transition from the six into a four tricky g <laughs> I feel like that should be like a nickname for somebody's nickname should be Tricky G. Uh oh, can you imagine? Yo, what's up? My name's Tricky G. Throw down, throw down my tricks on you. Watch this. I play shoots and ladders like a madman. Shoots and ladders all day long. Tricky G. This eye is this is way too wide. Look at that. Eight pixel? Are you kidding me? This is way too wide. This is the widest letter I have ever seen in my life. I can't believe that was that way the whole time. What's going on there? Oh my god, I'm so glad that's better. Look at the G. The J. It's GJ. This GJ is way too thin. It's supposed to be two whole more pixels. Wow, they got, we were just messing up on these last two letters. Ridiculous. I can't believe that was in the font before. In fact, it kind of makes me want to fix the large font. Hold on a second. Once we, when we notice something big like that, we probably need to do something about it. Okay, so this is the original super pixely font. And there's a few things I've done so far that have improved this. I'm gonna make these changes here in this one. So we consistent, got this really nice. What's that person called that makes a font, a fonter? Font, font, font fontlizer. There's somebody, there's a name for a person that makes fonts. What is that? name word cool word scriptist typist something else it's like a typographer might be a typographer oh that's pretty thick j oh i made it too thick oh no, no wonder that feels really weird this j is like freaking weirdly wide now sounds right we're going with it typographer i think tricky g is probably a typographer you know what i mean if i if i were if i were name were tricky g and i had to choose a profession it would be typographer yes <laughs> yeah Yes, they're sitting there playing shoots and ladders all day long. It's all they ever do. Huh? I'm liking the K. Okay. Okay. On to the next one. L. L is six, four. Ooh, I love this L. Keeping it. M. Oh my gosh, this M is messed up. So messed up. Oh my God. What's wrong with... Oh, so, so bad. Who who drew this? Songbringer? This came from the game Songbringer? God, somebody ridiculous made this. Ridiculous. We gotta fix this twice. Oh, so much better. She kind of looks weird. But I will. What a buffoon. What a buffoon. Oh, 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 here's what's wrong with this part. Eh, that's a little better. We need, we need more. More. I like it now. I like it, dog. My name is Tricky G. I love that. I love what you've done with the place here. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. What a purified, refined. Okay, yeah, uh, I like it. Okay, this is what this guy needs. More of this. Is that the right? Is that it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Oh, that's that was the trick right there. Okay, I get it now. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, right, I love it. Pretty nice. Nice. On to the next letter. The, the letter N. Everybody loves a good 
letter N. What more could you want in, in life than the letter N? I just want to have a letter N plushie next to my, my bed at all the hours of my sleepy times. I want like little statues of the letter N on my desk. Like there needs to be a superhero that is just a big letter N. This, this N is looking a lot better. Wow, man, this whole, I don't know where this all came from. This whole like making things consistent for their stroke widths and heights, but it's working really well. Trick right there, man. You just got to make your stroke width. It's right. So stonk. It's strong. Lonka would love it. Oh, uh, this O. Oh, there's something wrong with this O oh, for sure. It's because of this. Right. Oh, yep. That. Oh, there's one. That's part of it. That needs to be there. And then this needs to be here. This. Oh my gosh. The side of this O. Oh, this is it. This is it right here. This is working so much better. Okay, so something's weird about this O oh, now. It's looking worse. It's looking worse. What's wrong with this thing? Okay, wait. It's supposed to be four high, four wide. So that's right. Okay, so what about this? It's a little better. There we go. Huh? All right. Okay. So this is, needs to be sick. Transitioning into four. So may, oh, maybe it needs to be like that. That's I don't like it. It's really weird. Maybe it needs to be more like that. Oh, that looks a little better. Okay, that's the trick right there. So yeah, return to Sleepy Town, man. What are you doing out here in Wake Town? Job, to, oh, dude. Me and Tricky G are gonna have a great day. Don't worry. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a nice time in Sleepy Town. Hope you have some good plushies to uh, keep you there in Slumberland. Comfy, comfy and nice. With six. With four height four oh yeah that's what i'm talking about this p this a superb p forgot the this o over here two two p huh mm-hmm uh-huh mm-hmm uh-huh okay mm-hmm uh-huh mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh my gosh this q also so messed up okay so the secret to doing these curvier letters is that you got to transition nicely between the six and the four so it's like the six needs a little bit more time be six ish and the four four just four the four has enough time on its own fine it says it is oh i just thought of something we could do with this oh nope nope i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it without that at first we're going for the crisp 45 degree angle wherever possible so the q oh there another another pixel there and there and that's pretty good except for this right there maybe it's like it's a little it's a little like that yeah ah, good stuff okay oh here's where we need to go on with our commit to the 45 degree angle theme oh wait we've got two few right there we gotta go one left yep, there we go there we go oh Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it either. That's better. Pretty nice R. What if we did one less there? Ah, oh, that's even better. Huh, sometimes the other window over here doesn't update. That's weird. Oh, hey, what's up with that pixel? Oh my gosh, glad I got that one. All right, so this is how many pixels? Whoa, oh, five wide. It needs to be less wide. Nah. Yeah. There we go. What's this R looking over here? This is one, two, three, too many pixels. All right, that's pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty not bad. Pretty good, not bad. Okay, on to the next one. There's a letter S. Oh, whoa. So it's remaining committed to this 45 degree thing. Uh, there's two, There's a few things to be done here on this S, letter S. First of all, we want this stroke to be six. I think that's too many. Oh no, that's right. That's already six. Okay, that's good. Then we want to commit to this 45 degree feel. A little too much. Hmm. Okay, so we got a real thick line right here, and then it starts getting thinner there. I don't like that. Better. Okay, so we got four pixels there. Four pixels. Four pixels. This bottom bit's a little thin. Ah, uh, there we go. So four. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to leave this S alone for a bit. All right. Oh, here's the T. Too wide. Oh my gosh, way too wide. Way too wide. That's better. Much better. It's gonna be the same thing with the smaller version. We got one too many pixels there. That me, oh, okay. I need to make sure we ch we're changing this as I go because there's a lot. I just don't want to have to try and write, remember all this. So I need to actually do this. So the letter, the capital letter I is now one pixel less and it's X advance. Capital letter T also one less letter in its x advance everything else so far has been the same but those two letters they need an adjustment okay good thing we just adjusted in that that has been adjusted all right let's make sure we got a six and a four six oh hot damn we got a four we got a six got a four oh this looks weird 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 that's so bad it's better oh my gosh that's so much better can that be applied to this guy yeah that, look, that looks better kind of maybe that no that's not maybe it's that uh there we go that's the one the one pixel that brought it all together v i feel like this to be like that at the very least okay so this left half of the v should be thicker than the right half of v which means we need to get rid of a few pixels on this side add some on this side. 
And that might be all we need right there. How many pixels is that? Six. Very nice. Four. Very okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Wow, this is really looking a lot more consistent and good. Wow, really found the secret here. This whole six and four cadence. That's the secret with this font. Probably typographers out there are like, dude, duh, duh. And I'm just like, I, what do you mean? Typography rules. What, what are type, what typography? Is that a word? Now what to do about this weird W? This is a funky W. Got some things that make it unique here. Oh, that's better. I mean, maybe not. No, hmm. and we need to definitely get rid of that's better. It's more four ish. Four. If I were to go like that, that works actually. If we this, ah, uh, now the stroke is consistent. Look at that stroke, really nice. That's what needed the whole time. Wow, there we go. This is the W you've been looking for. That's even more the W you've been looking for. Oh, wait, there's, there we go. Wow, I'm pretty happy with that W. That's really nice. Okay, back to the large. Great, we forgot to do a few of these. This is three, three. This one should be two. Okay, take it. Oh, here we go. That W is supposed to be like that. Huh, oh, this is where this stroke needs to come down to there. Do this and that. One, two, three. That's too, too many. Oh, that's too few. Oh, we like that. Good stuff. Well, maybe, maybe one more. Nope, also too few. How oh, this one look? Yeah. Yep, this does need one less there. How about that. Oh, pretty good. Uh, that's the trick right there. Oh, I just noticed the K here needs a little trimming. Trim up this K. Ah, it's very nice. More svelte of a K. I like that. So the sveltness of this K. Okay. Oh my gosh. What to do about this one? So far, we've been going where all of our, our first vertical stroke is six wide, a little thicker. And then our remaining vertical strokes are four wide, a little thinner. And then all of our vertical or horizontal strokes have been four. So I, so for making an X, it's like, which, which one is six, which one is four? I guess whatever you draw first, I, I guess maybe starting started with the cadence of the Western alphabet. The, uh, would be starting from the upper left. So yeah, I guess this this stroke right here should be a feeling of six and this stroke should be the feeling of four. Let's get that. First of all, oh, there we go. That's how that should be. Okay, all right. And same thing with this stroke here, if we need to go, oh, nope, it was a little, little off, even more like that. There, that's how it should be. Okay, good, good. Whoa, I just remember it's Burning Man right now and I'm not there. Crazy, freaking crazy. It's going, what is going on in the world right now? Why am I not a Burning Man? Okay. Uh... Ooh, I like it. Just taking a whole extra pixel? Why not? Be pirate about it. Just take it. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, wait, it's not taking an extra pixel. That's how it should be. Okay, then. Can, oh, 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 oh. This needs... Huh? Okay. Huh? That. Oops. Yes. And one more, maybe? One more. Uh, uh, hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. This X looks a lot better. Okay. Now we need to make this one also thicker on this stroke. Yes. No. Something's wrong here. This is not... Oh, not thick enough down here. Go. Huh? Okay. And weird. I know this is better, but it doesn't look any different on this display here. I wonder if this is actually updated. Uh, whoa, yeah, that's the problem. Okay, hold on. This should be... Uh, uh, eight. There you go. Yeah, okay. That's how that should be. Um, but, oh, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Wait a second. Oh, this needs to be a whole pixel taller on this one here. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Okay, so turning to our cadence, we want this one to be six. This one also to be six. This was a width of four, so we need to be wider. And this feels like about like a six. It's hard to you could measure the height. Height of seven, right? Hold on. I think it's some other really nice. I mean, this one's also kind of. Uh, it is a height of six. And this one should be a. This one's also a height of. Okay, so if I did make this one pixel less, so pretty good. I feel like this should be one more. Okay, I like it. Keeping that one. And Z. Z? Let's make that a little more 45 ish there. Same thing with this little bit of the Z. All right, now our, our main thick stroke here should be six ish. That's six, all right. And this one, we got a weird thing going on because the way all this kind of lines up. That's okay. As long as this is four, that's four. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, let's return to our letter A, which was a little bit, little bit of a tricky letter to do because of the style I was kind of going for with the old font. All right, so I'm seeing that we want to kind of have, if we're going to have this sort of curve, curve to this right side of the letter, 
that. We want to kind of also mimic that same kind of looking curve here. Oh, that's better. Huh. Those two pixels might have run, really done the trick right there. That's okay. This is four. Oh, this is ridiculous. Eight pixels. We need that to be four. And this also should be four. And this should be six. Good. Okay. That has turned out really weird looking. What do we need to do here? Assistant with this same edge. Oh. Oh, that shouldn't be, that's a weird cadence. Oh, that's better. Get a little better. A little, a little better. It looks better when I zoom out than when it, when, I'm, when I see it with this other view on the left side here. Something about this left hand view. It's like it doesn't update or something. I don't know what's going on there. Something about it. It's like not quite as nice as the when you just normal zoom out. Not bad. Okay, let's see how this is looking. We're going to uh, uh, build that. And we're going to build the original large font too. And run in the game. See how it's looking. How are we doing on time here? Date, date. Ooh, time to stop the stream soon. The game is running, apparently. Is it running? Where is it? Oh, it's just in the, in the background. Oh, wow. Hey, it's looking better. I like it. It's looking better. Screenshot. Pair that screenshot to our last screenshot, our last pass before we got all the using that whole rule of six and four. Uh, okay, turn that one off. Uh, so the letter spacing is a, is wrong now. Oh, because we updated the font. Oh, okay, okay. This is gonna look this is gonna look so much better if I just reduplicate lar there. Copy large dot font to large two dot font and then run the font tool and go to large two dot font and make sure it's large two a ping that should be a better screenshot so now we're gonna have a more accurate letter t and letter i spacing yeah okay okay yes that does look a little better could probably use a little bit of dialing in it made me figure out what to do to make things look a little better for example the letter a and the letter v could use a little more kerning these are things we can work on later though we need to do a, probably a whole nother pass because take a screenshot and see what is are we getting down to the right resol are we getting all the way down to the resolution that we're supposed to be at here Let's see like if we were to look at one pixel is it actually one pixel or is it multiple pixels so this right here is two by two so yes we do need to go one more font we need to do a whole nother pass on this font to get it to be perfectly pixeled so what this will look like eventually is this where it'll be a whole nother level of sharpness and crispness to its font it'll be hoppier if it were brewed it'll be crispier if it were baked so that's the goal so man we have a long a long ways to go so i just spent about an hour and a half there working on this large two dot font so we've got let's get that where size it should be at there we go okay so there's our large font right somewhat pixelated here's our large two font we started working on the these uppercase letters and you can see if i switch back and forth between these that it looks crisper kind of weird though it's like I'm, i think i'm looking at this thing as if it were yeah it is what's up with that so that's crazy 182.0 what if i change this to 182 crazy if anybody else is seeing on this out here I, I don't know if you can see this on on the stream but on my my monitor i can see pretty clearly that this is using anti-aliasing to show me this font this is, should be pixelated like when i look at this it's really nice and i can tell that it's pixelated it's, it's as it should be but this is blurry it's slightly blurry but then when i zoom in slightly not it's once again nice and crisp and it's pixels that's how it should be looking Let's see if we can just do that same there we go Okay, that's better. So yeah, that's the goal, right? What I need to do, continue working on this font and go through, hello, I was real. And make sure that everything else is done. So now we've gotten, we've gone through and done a pass and made sure every letter from A, all the uppercase letters are done. These look good. And then we need to do all the numbers, all the lowercase letters all the special characters and then all of the special vowels and then the Cyrillic letters and that's it so we need to basically finish this whole font this is this is a whole nother pass of making this whole font crispier higher resolution yes yeah, so Israel I'm making I'm hand drawing these glyphs actually did hand draw these already for my game Songbringer back in the day. It's kind of a pixel art game. So this game Wraithbinder, I am actually taking that same font because it's the same game universe. I want it to have sort of have the same feel. So that's why I'm taking this font and making it higher resolution so that it can still have the same aesthetic of Songbringer, that same game universe, but just be a higher resolution, nicer, crisper looking. 
And if anybody does miss the old pixel art look, there's an option in the UI where you can change your full UI to be pixel art instead of the higher crispier fonts. So, oh, sweet. Uh, right on, man. You got a pro music background. Cool. Rad. And now you're just getting your pixel art up to snuff. Cool, man. I, I hear you. That's what I did too. I started with programming and then I learned music and this was like a decade later. So I started making, pro I started programming a decade later, started doing music a decade after that. I started making art and now here I am 30 years into making video games and I'm doing all three. I'm a solo developer. How, how long you been making your, your games, man? Boop, boop, boop. Sure. This is six wide. Oh, what? Too wide. You started with PS2 GameCube. Whoa, man. Consoles. Radical. PS2. Rad. I remember it, dude. PS2 all the way for the win. Mostly a programmer, musician in your off time. Rad. I can relate. I was in a very similar situation. Exclamation point is now next advance of seven your own games just recently congratulations what games are you making what are your what's what are you, yeah tell us about your games i'm realizing this is gonna take a while top down pixel art tactical rpg cool like tactical like turn-based or or real time like shining force oh sick rad i love shining force my buddy i i i didn't play it as much as my friends when growing up but my friends played that game a lot and i watched them play it a lot so i, I remember a lot of the cool characters for that game i remember some of the battles from the original shining force like that one battle where you had to like cross a bridge and it was one of the, it was what, what level was that i don't i don't remember all the details but yeah there's that laser enemy or the laser right i remember that yeah yes i remember that that laser on that bridge right? like there was that was the hard part of that bridge was like getting past that laser was that an was that wasn't that an enemy that lasered you or something forget okay so i have to break from my rule here on this hashtag pound sign can't do the six four cadence with that one right it was just an enemy shining force is a good game anybody else out there remember the game shining force one of sega's classic game that like toe jam and earl nba jams there were some good sega games sort of vermilion I don't remember that one. Sort of vermilion. Hey, let's get an AI powered overview for this search. An AI powered overview is not available for this search. Oh, it's like all fantasy, Final Fantasy like, or it looks like from this screenshot. Cool, man. This looks fun. I, I don't know why I've never heard of this game. One of my favorite games is Crystallis. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't remember. Oh, man, I love this game. This is a sweet action RPG. Yeah, it's a good one. I recommend it. Highly recommend that game. Super fun. So did you work for companies back when you were making PS2 and GameCube games? So once again, this is way too wide. This period. Look at this period. Crazy, man. Crazy. What about this guy? Oh, this guy too. Too crazy. Too crazy. So the period and the comma. You had PS2 dev kits. Whoa. Back of the day. Okay, so since this letter is one entire stroke, we wanted the feeling of a six wide. What the hell? What is I Six. Wow. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted there. Okay, this zero needs to be sick wide there. Oh, for Tarak? Crazy. Wow, okay. Nice. Okay, well, winding down the stream here. I'm over my time. Let's just do just what just one more little there. Boom! Okay, so let's review a little bit what we just did today. Let's run that. Let's go ahead and build these two fonts and run the game. Been too long since we ran this game. Large, large two. Those fonts got thrown in the asset pipeline. Copied into the assets folder. Saw it. I saw it with my own my own eye. Okay, so we've been increasing the size, the resolution of the game's main large font. Still some funky little issues like the A, the app, uppercase A looks a little weird still. But we'll get we'll get all these solved. And also we've got one entire more resolution increase to go. So we this is looking good on like a 2K display. But right now I'm viewing viewing this on a 4K display. And I can tell that it still looks a little pixelated. So we're going to go a whole nother pass after this on this whole font and make it look better. But let's see how this is looking in the game too. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. The zero looks weird. I just I just edited that zero. Definitely looks funky. Something up with that. But it is looking crisper. I can tell. Like when I'm looking at this menu font, it looks like a lot nicer. Still, the kernings need a little bit of adjusting. Like the T's, two T's don't fit together quite nicely. But when there's an A, an uppercase A and an uppercase V, those need to be a little tighter. So all the kernings need to be adjusted and really dialed in to make it just perfect. And we need to go a whole nother resolution higher. But uh, this is looking pretty good so far. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, so so yeah, we'll review what we did today. 
Today's stream was entirely dedicated to these fonts here. And I'm just basically going through the font and increasing it. So I'm increasing the resolution. So I took the this large font right here and I doubled its size and then started going in and detailing every little pixel to make sure that it looks crisper and nicer at this higher resolution. So I think AI could probably do that for you these days. I don't know if AI can actually do pixel art though. I think maybe you could do pixel art with AI. So you can upscale this with an AI sort of skewed AI, but I don't know. I'm just doing it by hand because I don't think the technology is quite there. And besides, there's a lot of little things that little things I found to, to really improve this font, like this whole cadence of six and four. So that was a real big win today. You can see that the ver the first vertical stroke of of all these fonts is six pixels wide, and then the second vertical stroke is four. And then whenever we have a actually pure vertical stroke, or sorry, pure horizontal stroke, it's a height of four. So we've got this whole cadence where it's like a thicker first line, and then every other line is a little thinner. And by going through every letter and making sure it sort of fits with that theme, it really helped this whole font look better. So an AI could not have done that right it wouldn't have gone and it's been like eh, i want to make sure that this is perfect and i'm just right but my brain i'm like yes let's make this all just really nice because i want to have this font for future projects too so we're going to dial this in make it real good and there's a lot more to do too so we've got the this is sort of the pixel art end of it but we've also got some work to be done here in this font file this is a file format called bm font for bitmap font and it's, you see it's got like a character id the x and y position of the letter the width and height of that base where it's going to take the letter off of the sprite sheet, if you will. And then I don't know what these X offset or Y offsets are for. I think they're all zero for my font. And then there's an X advance for how many pixels it's advancing after each letter and so on. And then I've got a font tool, which kind of like I can I can go and edit these font files myself. It's a little handwritten C++ thing with like it. Like, for example, it adds on these comments, like it comments at the end and tells me what each one of these letters means. I can add a semicolon character to the end and that's a comment. And then we've got kernings as well. So ooh, looks like I lost my kernings. There were supposed to be kernings here but I'll, I'll grab them from a different font and put them in. But the kernings allow you to change up the width, the space between two letters. So kerning would be like, like here's a good one, A and V. So kerning would be, would say, all right, our first letter is A, our second letter is V. If we see that combination of letters, an A followed by a V, then it will adjust the spacing, the X advance between those two letters and move it so it looks a little better. Like, so this might look something more like, you know what I mean? It would move this V to the left a bit. Not, not, not how, it would do, how it would work in the game, but you see what I mean. So thanks for watching today's stream. I'm Wizard Foo. I'm making this game called Wraithbinder. It's a roguelite with Metroidvania elements, top-down perspective, and you get a whole bunch of loot and it's kind of like Diablo meets Super Metroid meets the game Songbringer or Zelda. You can think of it like a Zelda game too, sort of. So yeah, this game is coming out next year and it'll be out in early access. And there's another demo coming up soon or another beta and you can play it. Just follow, follow the game on, what's that? What's that website? Steam? I think it's called Steam. Follow this on Steam and wishlist it and stuff because that's really helpful to me. And also you might enjoy playing this game. Thanks a lot, person. Catch you next Wednesday, same time, 3 p.m. ish to 5 p.m. ish. And I hope you have a nice week. Later.